so hey guys in this video we'll be discussing about slip power recovery okay this is for the wound a rotor induction motor now this is also called as what slip ring induction motor now here what all things see how to i understand so this thing you can differentiate to two two different sides that is nothing but one is stator and another one is rotor okay so in stator you can see that resistance and reactance and all it is given as subscript is s okay here it is r okay now vr is there which is nothing but external voltage source which is uh, injected to the rotor side okay injected voltage source now here we have to understand that whenever input power is given to the stator side some of the powers may be lost okay due to some reasons okay and it will be transferred to the stator side so power which is left out after the loss we can name it as pg so input power is there which is given to the stator after that some loss will be there after the losses whatever the power is left out that we call it as the pg which we can call it as air gap power okay this is this may be converted into two things one thing is that a part of air gap will be converted into the mechanical power another part of air gap which is not converted into mechanical power we can call it as pr so this is the important thing so once again i'll repeat this is the air gap power which can be converted into mechanical power and the power which is not converted into mechanical power we can name it as pr which is the slip power okay so here pm will be their mechanical power and slip power will be pr okay this is important thing and one more thing here stator and rotor uh, ratios okay if you observe the ratio will be unity that means it should be what stator to rotor turns stator to rotor turns should be one okay now pr is nothing but the the split power is nothing but the power which is absorbed by this vr voltage source okay so this pr i can control okay so magnitude and sign of pr i can control how can i control it by controlling the magnitude of this vr okay so that's why i said pr is the power absorbed by vr so i can control this pr which is the slip power by using vr okay now we'll discuss the cases what all cases are involved so one equation i'll write as i said pg i can write it as the combination of pm plus pr yes as i said before here so this i can rearrange and write it as pm is equal to pg minus pr right just shift this to that side so this is the equation you have to see okay very important in this we'll discuss one by one what all cases are there first case what will happen if pr is equal to zero if slip power is equal to zero what will happen now in this case motor will run at its normal speed see when pr becomes zero let me just write pm is equal to pr is zero so it will be equal to pg right correct so the motor will run on its natural speed okay now this is the first case natural speed torque at a six it will run now the second case if we come across the second case we have here when our pr is greater than zero so when pr is greater than zero what will happen see here pm is equal to pg minus pr so when pr is greater than zero when it is increasing so this pm will pm will reduce so when pr increases pm will reduce therefore we can say that the motor will run at what lower than the synchronous motor 
will run at lower speed okay third condition when pr is less than zero now when pr is less than zero what happens the pm will be larger because pm is equal to pg minus pr when this is reduced okay it is going negative this will go uh, more positive that means it will increase so in this case what happens the motor will run at what so this same thing will run at what speed higher than speed higher than synchronous speed okay this thing you have to understand so next case we are having here that is nothing but when pr is equal to pg pr is equal to pg what will happen so pm is equal to then pr and pg both are equal right okay if it is one this is also one that means it becomes zero so pm will, e will be equal to zero so when it is equal to zero the speed will become zero okay speed will be zero so this is the case we are studying so this let me just frame it in this way that you consider the number line here zero is there so pr we are just verifying so varying so pr when it is zero less than zero greater than zero when low less than zero then it will run at what higher speed motor will run at higher speed when greater than zero it will run at lower speed okay this is the uh, the whole scenario okay so we can write that that whenever the motor so whenever the pr is varied from 0 till pg okay from 0 to pg the speed can be controlled from synchronous to zero speed synchronous to zero speed now this is the entire scenario of the slip ring induction motor for that slip power recovery concept now in this one more point we can understand that we have studied about the rotor resistance control right so in this what happens is that we are basically wasting the the what wasting power yes wasting the power whatever is the left of power in the external resistors we are using and wasting it over there so here but it is usually injected back right so here we have the two schemes okay two schemes are there for the speed control of what classified as the slip power recovery schemes that is nothing but static trebius and static kramer drives this will be explained in the next videos